Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and today I just wanted to kind of post a little video commentary. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on lately with a certain, uh, you know, food service business, if you will, that the owner and proprietor of this entire chain basically came out anti-gay, and uh, there are message boards and, you know, fan pages just going, people are going ape on both sides of the aisle, especially over on Facebook and stuff. And um, I'm definitely down for agreeing that people have the freedom to say what they want, to express their beliefs, whether they are conflicting or not. But I'm sorry, my personal tolerance when it comes to these excuses that are made for hate speech and what is essentially another form of racism, um, you know, whatever you want to call it, sexism or sexual preferenceism, it's the same thing to me when you want to excuse hate speech. And the thing is, primarily I see that this is being done with one of three excuses put toward it. There's the religious excuse, which is effectively that, and I'm noticing it's predominantly Christianity, is saying that you know, it's God's will that man and man and woman and woman, uh, that kind of same-sex union is unholy. It's a sin and all this kind of crap. Another side of it is the, uh, you know, freedom of expression. I can say what I believe. It's just a disagreement. It's not hate. It's not discrimination. And the third of which being that, you know, essentially it will lead to just heinous things like bestiality and incest and, uh, you know, that, that kind of thing. I mean, just appalling absurdities. And, um, you know, I, I love that they tote those who are of the religious preference. Uh, they tote the Bible and they tote God's word and everything like that. Yet many of these people who will throw the Bible in your face have rarely read it themselves, or at least uh, not without being selective as to the passages they apply to their life. Um, I have two websites that I will link below that are just two of many that you can simply Google and find a ton of them, basically pointing out all the most appalling and and insane things that are allowed via God's will and God's word to be found in the Bible. Everything from, you know, sex slavery to uh, killing and murdering and genocide and um, stoning someone to death for practicing democracy. Uh, you know, these kinds of just... I, it, there's nothing better that I can describe it as, as just insanity. Uh, you know, basically, when you look at Moses talking about killing the sons and daughters who have laid down with a man of a city who just doesn't believe in God or doesn't believe in their God, and uh, leaving all the youngest virginal daughters in the leftovers in the name of their God, I mean, it's appalling to me, and it's it's funny and ironic that the hypocritical people who use this Bible, you know, uh, these Bible passages talking about same-sex marriage being bad and a sin and all of that, they conveniently ignore all of these passages. They don't apply them to their lives. Surely they would not take their own child and uh, sell that child to someone who would then be in a binded agreement and say, uh, you know, come the age of consent finally, because of course this selling would be done underage in the Bible. Once the age of consent is effectively, you know, reached, the uh, male in the male-female arrangement would have the say to turn away from the woman, but the woman would not have that right. It's just appalling to me that you will selectively pick and choose that same-sex things are wrong and all of these other things, well, you don't really have an opinion on, do you? Because you haven't read those passages. These articles will clearly iron out in the Bible, in any Bible that you have, basically where you can find these passages. And uh, there's another article that I've actually linked below that I find very curious and very interesting and very poignant that I think if you truly have an open mind and uh, up to this point you have been practicing your air quotes opinions, you have been practicing your religious right to say that same-sex unions in one way or another are a sin or are appalling or are wrong, you would probably find it very interesting, if you especially are a Christian, to learn that 
in the annals of Christian history, there was a time when same-sex unions were actually practiced, sanctioned, and uh, pretty much the, the running thing in your religion. And uh, I think that's very interesting how far we've come in the ignorance, the binding of stupidity, the people who will not go and seek out the information for themselves. I think what it comes down to is fear. And uh, I'm talking about a fear that when people get so bent up out of hate that people should be put to death if they are wanting to be in a same-sex union, that kind of thing, if they are gay, if they uh, are attracted to the same sex, and they should be put to death for that, I think there's a problem with the mind. And it is quite a big problem of the mind, if I don't say so myself. Uh, you know, I do see people talking about a gay agenda, and I don't know what that is exactly, except for the fact that those are people who want equality. They want the same rights and the same, you know, rules and everything to apply to them the way they do to everyone else. And uh, you go back to a time when people of the African-American persuasion had to fight for those rights. There was a whole generation, uh, generation upon generation of slavery and people who had to break out of that segregation. Then you have the women fighting for the right to vote and equality. And now it's very much just another page of that whole same you know, sort of song and dance where people of a different persuasion are trying to just be treated fairly and equally as everyone else is. And, um, you know, I don't think it would be right for someone to say, well, if you are black, you cannot have a relationship with someone who is white. Or if you are Asian, you cannot break away from your culture. Or if you are Mexican or if you are Spanish or if you are Italian, British, whatever, American, uh, you know, you cannot get with somebody who is from Canada. Um, are these these things that make sense because surely if we allow these unions could we not potentially allow unions with animals and uh, between siblings and uh, I have news for you unfortunately there are places in the world where these things do happen already and it's not a consequence of any sort of you know sanity that would be people who are consenting adults whether of the same persuasion or not being together if that's what makes them happy. And uh, I don't really care what your opinion is. I don't care if you disagree with me. But at least I would ask that you have the open mind enough to consider all of the information that is out there, to consider the fact that if you are suddenly free and understanding that people who are gay are people and uh, there's nothing, <laughs> whether in the mind, mentally, chemically, uh, critically, as far as thinking, anything. There's nothing wrong with that because it's just like everything else. And uh, you actually will open your mind to, if you are of the religious persuasion, to the information that shows you exactly what kind of other appalling things are sanctioned under your so-called God. And I haven't spoken at all in this video about my own particular take on religion, and I don't mean to bash it. I know there are people who are very fine, upstanding uh, people of all different religions and backgrounds and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I respect that, even though I disagree. But I find the excuses that people put toward using religion, using agendas, using just plain ignorance, talking about that gay is wrong for the sake of being wrong, um, I think you need to open your mind. And I think you need to just really look at what's out there and ask yourself, is what you believe really valid? Is it you know, not a consequence of ignorance and hate. And if you do suddenly find yourself opening your mind to equality and, you know, basically making a change in your life and your stance, whether religious or not, that you will not suffer any dire consequences. You will not suddenly become brainwashed. You will not be susceptible to changing your own persuasion or your own mentality or your own thinking for your own personal preferences. There will be nothing to befall all you accept peace of mind knowing that there are other people out there that have rights the same as you and that they're given the freedom to choose that you so usually use yourself and uh, you know I would think that you know the threatening of you losing that right to choose and that right to a choice 
would be definitely something you would get up and fight against. So why is it unfair for these people to fight to have the same rights you have? Where does that make any sense in the mind? And, um, yeah, so I just I kind of rambled in this video, but I just wanted to voice my opinions because I'm just kind of tired of uh, sitting back and seeing things move along and not having something to say about it. So I hope this video finds you well, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.